Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of a new video series that I call Artistic Hangout. It's a video format where you have a time lapse of a piece of art that I'm working on and also a helpful voiceover commentary about an unrelated topic. With that being said, today I'm going to talk about how to teach yourself how to draw and how to paint. As I said in previous videos, I am a self-taught artist. I didn't go to an art school and I didn't hire any art teacher. I learned myself how to draw and how to paint simply by drawing and painting. I know that this is something you hear a lot if you're new in the art world, but this is the only thing you have to do. Because one of the best things to learn how to do something is go out and do it. You have to devote a lot of time and effort, but if this is something you already love to do and art makes you feel good, then it's not very hard. A lot of times I hear people saying, I wish I could draw like you. Well, you know what? You can. Drawing is a skill which develops as you practice. You are not alone when you are saying you are terrible at drawing. All great artists started with shitty drawings at some point in their life. The reason why they went ahead from these shitty drawings to something more is that they had a great desire within to draw even better every time. Remember when you were a kid? I bet you love to draw. All kids do. They love to draw. Art makes them feel happy, so they like to draw everywhere and all the time, right? But when they start growing and they leave in childhood behind and they becoming adults, they are losing that joy that art was giving to them. But that joy in creativity stays alive for some people and every time they grab a pencil and a paper, they feel the creativity and inspiration running through them. These people are the people that they are going to be true and great artists because they have that inner passion to devote their lives into something that brings them true happiness. This is the only thing that separates true artists from the rest of the people. So if you are not so passionate about art, then don't even bother to start. And I say this because any art form cannot be learned fully in a synthetic manner if you have no passion, interest, curiosity and dedication attached to the process of learning. If you have all these things, then everything else are pretty simple. Take a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, nothing fancy, and start drawing by observing things around you. A great way to practice in everywhere is to buy a cheap notebook, something small that could fit in your pocket, and a pencil, and go outside, start drawing everything you see. And when you finish your drawing, write notes about it. Why did you choose to draw that? What mistakes have you done? Do you like what you drew? How do you feel about it? Another great idea for beginners is to draw a shape. For example, you can start by drawing a circle and then keep on practicing it. Every time try to draw a perfect circle. That's it, you are drawing. When you draw the perfect circle and you are satisfied with it, try to add shadows to it. Draw more shapes, draw objects from your life, people, anything, but try every time to give the best of you. Other great ways to learn is to watch tutorial videos, read art books and ask other artists that you admire. But remember, you always have to give the best of you. Stay motivated, stay inspired, be confident about your skills and always keep progressing. If you create a masterpiece today, it doesn't mean that your job here is done. No, try to create something better than your latest drawing. And if sometimes it's hard because it's not very easy to outreach yourself with every drawing, remember that every shitty or less good drawing that you do makes you more skilled and greater than you were. So start now, keep practicing now because you are never going to feel more motivated than you are right now. That was it for today, I hope you liked this video, I would love to hear your thoughts about this new video series on my channel, I have some prints available of this drawing in my shop, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video, bye everyone!